So here I have yet another red 1970s GPO 746. This particular example is from 1972 and it's an early Mark II model and what that means is if you look on the cradle where the handset sits it has these raised bumps here. Now the Mark I models didn't have that and I have one here to show you actually. As you can see on the cradle it's just a complete slope there down to the switch hooks. So the customers were actually complaining that it was coming off hook because as you can see it, it does slide about. So the GPO redesigned the casing to have these bumps here so the handset doesn't move as you can see. So that was a good idea really. Um, but it's nice to have a Mark 1 and a Mark 2 in red, <laughs> you know, if you're a real collector. But anyway, um, it's just in really great shape this as you can see. It's got such a nice shine to it. And it's all original, it has its original handset card as well, which is in great shape. It's a bit faded there, but that's not the end of the world. And the original line card as well. And the original line card actually has its block terminal still attached. So what I do, did was I purchased one of these short line cards with the BT plug on the end and just fixed it to the opposite end of the block terminal. And I actually fixed the block terminal to the skirting board there to make it look more authentic. So that's cool. Of course, it just goes into my regular uh, landline there. But anyway, um, it's just a basic 746, as you can see. Um, if you're wondering why there's a piece of tape on there, it's because it's covering up my details, because this is a personalised number card. Um, but as you can see, it does say, Fire Police Ambulance, dial 999, dial 100 for the operator. Of course, Denton is where I live. Uh, the dial I did lubricate and adjust. So as you can see, or here I should say, it has a nice sound to it and a good return speed. So that's cool. So it's just got a regular GPO 700 type handset. And there's the uh, receiver, there's the transmitter. And those are also original, so it's a really nice find this though. Really pleased with it. And there's the uh, switch hooks there. Got a carry handle at the back, as you'd expect. And here's the base. So it says 746, made by GNA in 1972. And it's got the post office authorised release stamp there from when it was rented originally. And there's the lovely dual gong bells in there. And the feet are all intact, so that's cool. And it's all original, as you can see. The what, what I mean by that is it's not been refurbished. I don't tend to collect the refurbished models, just the originals that haven't been back to the factory. So here's a look at it from the back. I'm not actually sure why they ever put these holes in. I don't know what that's for. Maybe it's to let some of the bell resonation come out. But anyway... I think that's all there is to show you, so I'll give you a dial-out demonstration. So there's the dial tone. It's a really nice dial, this. It's nice to dial on. So there you go. And without further ado, I'll give you a ringing demonstration so you can hear the uh, ringer. It's got a really nice sound to this um, one. So there you go. So there you go, classic GPO 700 ring there. So anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again very soon.